Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm a beach volleyball Olympian and world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. We had a big episode last time. Um, a little bit of controversy in the comments section. Our little Hinata is trying to grow and figure things out on his own. But the coaching staff and Kageyama and Suga and everyone else thinks that they just, that he needs to just trust Kageyama to get him the ball and let for the super fast quick Kageyama to just do it and then Hinata has more freedom with the slower stuff. Let me clarify what is going on because a lot of you were like, I can't believe she said that like Kageyama should just run everything. Hinata needs to grow. Hold on a second. I do not like how the whole idea even entered Hinata's head. That was my problem. I had a problem with this because Hinata was being a team player, he was getting better, he was learning his connection with uh, Kageyama, and then he met Lev, who told him that the middle blocker can be the ace, and then all of a sudden, Hinata wanted to be a superstar. That was my problem. He didn't like, you know, come up with these, these ideas and, you know, want to do this stuff until Lev put the idea in his head that he could be the ace. And then all of a sudden things changed. So I didn't like how this whole thing came about. I am not saying that he can't get there eventually. My other point to this argument is that he not can barely serve over the net. He can't pass a ball, he gets hit in the face any single time anybody hits at him. So I think before he tries to go like running the show and taking on so much responsibility offensively, he needs to learn the basics, okay? Dude needs to learn how to serve over the net consistently. He needs to dig a few balls, not get in the way, and then that for me will show growth as an athlete. So I just wanted to clear that up. I think, you know, Kageyama has a huge responsibility setting that super fast quick, even though Ikawa can't do it. So give the guy some credit to be able to run that. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Agree with me if you want, and if you don't, that's also fine but it was more the attitude and how everything developed and seeing how much volleyball skill he still has to learn before jumping to that level <clears throat> that I had a problem with. So that pretty much sums up episode five for you. <laughs> Today we are going to watch episode six. I'm assuming that the, this next arc is gonna get really emotional, lots of relationship, character development type stuff. So I'm all about that. I'm so excited. Um, so as I said, today we are going to watch Haikyuu season two, episode six, Tempo. This episode of Haikyuu is brought to you by Tri Treats. Tri Treats is a subscription box and every single month you get to explore different snacks and treats from a country around the world. Okay, so you have a choice between two boxes. You get five plus snacks or if you upgrade to the premium box, you get 10 plus snacks. For my box, I get to explore South Korea. This is what the inside looks like. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Sarah Pavin Volleyball at Tri Treats. Use my link in the description box below and get 15% off your first box. Episode six. He still has his bandaid on the face from the fight. Love it. So does he.
Oh my gosh, I love at a volleyball camp. <gasps> That's the original Ukai? I knew it! I knew it. Oh dang. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, he's ripped. Look at those muscles. Is it weird that I think he's kind of good looking? I mean, he's like a grandpa. Is that weird? Don't judge me. Don't get after me in the comments. I'm just saying. Same hair. You guys, same hair. I said it last time. Oh my gosh. He bothers me so much. He bothers me. He's the worst. I mean, the timing 
relies on the hitter. If the hitter's not up on time, the quick doesn't work. The placement of the set is critical. I mean, the direction that the person hits the ball depends on the hitter. I feel like, I feel like it's a pretty like symbiotic relationship. So I'm really curious where Grandpa Ukai and Oikawa are going with this. Do I think that Hinata is at that point right now? No, like I said at the beginning of the episode, I think that eventually he can get there, but there's way more things that he can focus on right now. So I'm curious what exactly they mean by this. まずは he better say because he has to get up on time. Oh my gosh, are these kids? I love this so much. Do not say that to him. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. スパイカーに合わせてトスを上げる。つまり、エンジン速攻もスパイカー手動の攻撃だ。ファーストテンポ。データ。エンジン速攻がどんな必殺技だか知らねえが、これだけは絶対だ。スパイカーが打ちやす
てっぺんを戦いたいということか、うんうん、それにはお前の相棒にも改善が必要なわけだがおそらくそれは天心が何とかするだろうよ Oh my gosh, she's going to pick him up for sure. Okay, oh, I feel kind of dumb right now because this whole time I thought the one that Hinata was approaching with his eyes open was first tempo, and I thought the lightning fast one was just like. Insanely fast. Now I find out that the insanely fast one was a first tempo the whole time. Okay, this changes things. This changes things. Okay, yes, I said before the hitter's timing affects how fast the setter can run the ball. Did you like that?、Um, but why did the quick look so fast? Okay, I got tripped up. Here I am. A season and a bit in. I clearly don't know what's going on. <sighs> yeah. So, you see it not just with middle blockers who tend to run really fast, you see it also with outside hitters. You'll see a really high ball, especially after defense. The ball will usually be high because it's often sometimes the setter not setting it. You'll also get like a quicker ball that might be the height of the antenna. Or, like, even faster than that. So, there are definitely tempos involved in different sets, not just for the middle blockers. So, I love that they're bringing this concept into HiQ already.、Um, but clearly, I thought that they were running some like zero tempo off the charts, super fast ball. I was wrong. So, all you people who called me out for saying that Hinata <laughs> can't control it. Now I understand. I love you. Please forgive me. He better watch out because Ukai is going to hit him with the car. <sighs> I'm so upset that this was a huge misunderstanding. I know I just pressed pause. I am so upset that this was all a big misunderstanding. That's it. That's the last thing I'm going to say about it. Maybe. Maybe. My gosh. I love his passion. I love his grandpa. Like, why are they practicing in the jungle with those kids? That's all. Maybe a forest, whatever. Can't even tell you how many times I've heard that. <laughs>
そこを止めるんだよ打点のところでああとつまりスパイカーの最高打点イコールボールの最高到達点にするんだ今までみたいに勢いそのまま通り過ぎるんじゃなくスパイカーの打点付近で勢いを殺す力加減と逆回転の書き方の難しさは今までの比じゃねえそれに B クイック D クイックブロード距離が離れるだけ難易度は格段に上がっていくできるかチビちゃんが欲しいトスに 100% 応えているか応える努力をしたのかやってみせますおまいがし、you guys。I thought that they already knew these concepts. That's how much I believed in them. I do not know where I got the idea that they knew these concepts of the different types of quick attacks, like the distances, how the ball moves, how fast it is, tempo. Like, here I am making just some bold statements. When I thought that they, they already knew that stuff, but they don't. And I have to remember, Kageyama is in his first year of high school. He's still a kid. But even the fact that the coach, like Ukai, young Ukai, doesn't know that. Like, I am so perplexed right now. Everything that I thought to be true is not true. I'm having an existential crisis this episode. I need to gather my thoughts here because this is wild. Happen? Are they gonna love each other? Nope. Yeah, Her and Hinata communicate the same way. Mishimiya? Is there food on her face? I saw he with the jump spencer. I love this for him. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm gonna cry. Hi, Hi. 
じゃないんですけど下手くそはちびつけて十分だ<笑>ほら行くぞちびつけお願いします Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, I have so many things to say. I almost started crying. I got goosebumps like four different times. Oh my gosh, that trip to Tokyo inspired everybody. Some in different ways than others, but like the creepy guy from Ubugawa, like Asahi wants to be a strong server because Kageyama is the only one, and Ubugawa, like he had a really good serve though. Like Shinzen's offense. They're, they're implementing different little pieces and what I would arguably say the best pieces from all of their Tokyo opponents and they're incorporating them into their own game and I am about to cry about it. Um, that is so awesome. I love how they're all practicing on their own and working on different, like even Noya with Seijo's libero being a, like jumping off of one foot behind the attack line and setting. Like everybody has taken pieces from people who do things really well and they're trying to implement them and I am here for that. I, I don't think I breathed that whole thing, but anyways, the second thing I wanna say is for a middle, the most important thing is to just make sure you're in the air. So this is what we're seeing with Hinata now. Um, he wants to take control. And as I was saying before, like making sure you're in the air waiting for the set is the thing that you can control as a middle. And so working on your timing and trusting your setter and making sure that you are there ready to hit on any quick attack, that is the most important thing. So I love to see this. The technique that I like to think about when I'm coaching people playing middle is like to see the pass and when the ball gets to where you're starting your approach, you follow the ball in. So if the ball passes you and then you start, you're too late. If the ball hasn't gotten to you yet and you've started, you're too early. So I like to think of it as like going in at the same tempo as the ball. So this is what we see him working on now and maybe he'll be able to open his eyes soon. <sighs> that, now I'm sweating. Goosebumps to like crying to sweating. I can't even talk right now. Like I'm gonna pass out. Oh, Suki, we haven't seen him much this episode. Oh, is he the only one that's too cool to practice extra? I wonder what's going on with him. He's holding the ball. He's touching the ball always. Oh, 
ちょっとだけ前よりボールがよく見えるよ。ちびたろう、ちょっとこっち手伝え。ちびってからちびたろうな。It's gonna be show you soon. あさってから東京だな。He's still holding the ball. はい。そもそも猫又監督が呼んでくれとって先生だ。面倒くせえやつだが、バレーを見る目だけは確かだ。あいつが指導している選手の一筋縄ではいかねえだろうな。いやというほども割と濃い。はい。おお。さあ。次お願いします。<笑>よし来た。Oh my gosh。さて、朝から晩まで練習できる夏休みに入りました。そして。He did this. A little lip lick. I don't know if you noticed, but I had the biggest smile on my face for that last part. I loved that. <sighs> to see, like, I forget how young they are. That's on me. But like to see them like all working so hard on their own and trying to get better. Like you guys, this is what it's all about. And this reminds me of little Sarah when like I was a kid. I would go out by myself with my dad and make him like toss balls for me to spike or serve at me so I could work on my passing. And like seeing this is bringing up so many memories. Like I almost cried five times. So this is beautiful, really. And I love how she, like Hinata is holding the ball all the time. He's becoming one with the ball. Um. Kageyama, his mind has expanded to like learn the different sets and to let Hinata maybe approach and hit them. And like the list goes on and on. I do want to find out about Suki though, because he seems like the only one that is not participating in these extra practice sessions, and I'm wondering what is going on with him.、Um, don't spoil it for me. But if we're not going to find out, just tell me.、Um, so we're going to go back to Tokyo. Maybe next episode, I hope, because I love all the different like teams and characters and stuff. But I thought that this episode was amazing. <laughs> I say that a lot, but really, Grandpa Ukai teaching Hinata like the basics of an, an, a, an approach for a quick. And to be able to adapt to different setting techniques and styles, and the boy just like taking the initiative to be great. Oh, my heart is melting. So, I mean, hit me up with those comments. I am sorry that I completely misunderstood anything about the sets that they were doing, and then like threw Hinata under the bus. I stand by what I said, though. I don't like how it came about. I will stick by that, and I will also stick by the fact that he can't even do a lot of the basic skills right. So shoot me.、Um, but hit me up with the comments below. I love to see what you guys have to say. And as always, I would be so excited if you would like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hang out with me as we just explore more volleyball-related content and high cue together. And now we can eat some treats with Try Treats. So hit me up if you try that. Thanks, guys.